Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in Chipstead. Well, actually, I'm in Hooley. I've done loads of videos from here over the years. Uh, one with Andrew Norris, one, one of the first videos I did on this channel. And I brought you back to St. Margaret's Church. This beautiful St. Margaret's Church. Very ancient, ancient parish here. Going right back to Anglo-Saxons times. We're right up on the North Downs. Uh, Chipstead Valley's down there. So it's a glorious place. I know I've just explored this church before, but not in really super detail. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a little look around. There used to be a fantastic yew tree that made way for the first wooden church in the 670s. But that was blown down in the great storm of 1987, unfortunately. Um, but this church here, is mainly 12th and 13th century, 12th and 13th century. It's a beautiful church, absolutely beautiful. William de Brompton was the first uh, clergyman registered here that was, there are records of from 1303. So I say this is a really ancient parish, ancient parish. I've always loved this tomb here. Absolutely amazing, look at that. I said we're high up on the North Downs, we're 513 feet above sea level, 513 feet. There was a big restoration gone on in the Victorian era and I think they were using Rygate stone but that doesn't really last a long time so it's been it crumbles over the years so this has made a lot more flint a flint structure oh oh now I can feel the sun come down beautiful straight down into the valley I mean to think Croydon's only like four miles away five miles away and you can hear the constant hum, that's the M23 and M25 intersection at Merstham. So there's always that, you know, that... But yeah, as I say, this is an ancient settlement. Could go me right back to prehistoric times, which I think it probably is, especially when you're up on a hill. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Lovely setting as well. That's why I like coming here. Nice and local. I've got it wrong. This is the Norman arch, this one here. Because that north is that way, going straight up. Uh, yeah, it's that way. So that's the Norman arch, isn't that fantastic? I am the gate, whoever enters will be saved. Okay. As I say, it was restored in 1883 by the architect Norman Shaw. So, uh, lots of new features, but it's still an ancient site. You know, people have said to me, I really should do a bit more dowsing around these places because they're ancient sacred sites and just discover what's around and what I might pick up on. But there you go. Sort of bench here just to sit down on and uh, chill out. In that lovely fresh air, which it is up here. Yeah. Wondering if it's going to be open. Problem. I've been quite lucky lately. Some of the I said on a couple of other videos recently that some of these churches in the suburban areas, which didn't don't think will be open, are, and you go out into the sticks and they're all shut. So it's really just potluck really, even though on the websites they'll say, oh we're open from 10 till 6 for private prayer and all that stuff. They usually aren't. The church at Charlwood is the one I want to get into. Maybe I have to need to email them or call them. I really want to look at the very unique wall paintings there. That's down near Gatwick Airport. Hmm.
another magnificent tomb. Look at that. Absolutely superbly designed. That's lovely. I will link, as I say, all the uh, other chips did videos below in the description box. Um, so you can check them out in case I miss out any information that I might have said on those. Nope. It's locked. I've only ever been inside once. That was uh, when I was walking, doing a lot of uh, walks around the area back in about 2015, 16. Um, just check him. And uh, that was quite nice. I have seen inside. I don't think I've got any photos. I can't remember. I'll have to have a look. So I'm sorry about that. That's a bit short lived. Um, still a beautiful church though. But yeah, can't get in. Right, so let's try that again. Okay, there's a new building in there called the Orchard, which um, is a young children's school. Um, I think tied in with the church. Um, and they're just finishing up, but the church itself is closed. But let's bring you out this lovely, lovely, lovely stretch of countryside, which we have walked in the past. It's on other videos. And there's the church opposite, along Church Lane. The Church Lane then goes down to the A Road, which goes down to Merstham and Gatwick Airport. Hawley, all those kind of places. Oh, lovely day. Oh, I don't need this on now. So yeah, a little bit disappointing. I really would like to have gone in there and had a proper look. There's a 14th century font, uh, some uh, brass. Uh, but there, all that I said about suburban churches being open recently, ignore that. Just ignore it. Okay, so we can't get in the church. So we're gonna head down into Chipstead itself. We have lunch at the White Harp, which we've been to many times. Lovely, lovely pub for a spot of grub. And hopefully one day I'll come back and it'll be open. It'll be open. Let's go. As we're here in Chipstead, I'm just going to take you up to the viewpoint that overlooks the uh, M25, as you can hear by the rumbling. It's a nice little area, this. And I've been here quite a few times. The last time was with Andrew Norris when we did the walk around Chipstead. But it's such a lovely day. And the views might be okay, unless it's a little bit hazy. Let's go and have a look. Avoiding some mud. It's a bit windy up here, obviously. And there we go. Yeah, nice little bench to sit on there. Done that a few times, had a cup of coffee. And down there's the M25. Over there is uh, Merstham. So the constant roar of traffic. When we did the video with Andrew Norris, he was commenting that he came here walking before the M25 was built, or it was just starting construction, and how peaceful and quiet it was. I say, I hope you can hear me all right. It's very, very windy up here. I just want to quickly show you. Beautiful view, in fact, it's a very hazy down to the South Downs. But we're on the North Downs, all's good. When I first came here, there used to be a little grave here 
I think of somebody's pet, could have been of a dog. It was here for a number of years and obviously not here now. I always remember that. Uh, I think I've got a photo of it somewhere. So heading down back to the White Hart, which we've been to, as I say, many times, many times. Built in 1731. People ask, what is a heart? It's called the White Hart. What is a heart? H-A-R-T. It's actually a male stag or deer. But it gained mythical status in its association with Hearn the Hunter. Um, or Hearn the Hunter. And apparently, um, someone was protecting, I think Richard II, this is all legend, Richard II, uh, it protected um, this bodyguard, protected Richard from a stag attack and was uh, nearly wounded and nearly fatally died. But a a wizard of some sort prompted him to take on this new life, brought him back to life, and to be this sort of mythical being, Earn the Hunter, uh, around Great Windsor Park. That's a potted, potted version of it. I think I've probably got it all completely wrong. But it's fascinating where these legends come from. I mean, I'm fascinated. I love Hearn the Hunter. Anyone who watches Robin of Sherwood will know what I'm talking about. I'm the leaf driven by the wind. Um, nothing is forgotten. Nothing is ever forgotten. Okay, enough of Robin of Sherwood quotes. We're now going to head back down to the heart. Well, hopefully there won't be any killer stags or deers. And uh, have some lunch. Let's go. So a lovely lunch at the White Hart in Chipstead. Really friendly staff, had a nice little chat with them actually. Great hospitality, really good. I love coming here, it's one of my favorite pubs actually. Um, so yeah, I had a steak and owl pie, very nice. So we enjoyed this little walk around St. Margaret's Church. Sorry it wasn't open, nothing I can do about that. It's, yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Hope you're having a great day. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.